are you waiting for today? My cousin, Sheila. Where is she coming from? From England. Ah, OK. And has it been a long time since you've seen her? Just about a uh, little over 20 years, I think. I'd say that's a long time. Yeah, she's 90. And is this a special occasion? My two sisters were here, and they have... This is my niece, Debbie. Hello. Hi. And uh, there's quite a few cousins in that for her to see. Why has it been 20 years? I went back in 96, I think, to take my mama's ashes back to England to be buried with my father. But uh, since then, I haven't been back to England. I've only been twice since I came over in 1947. So just after the war? Just after the war. What was it like in England at that time? Through the war, it was frightening, but also very exciting for a child. I was only six when it started. So, you know, I can remember times going outside and watching the planes, German and English planes, dogfighting overhead and sharpness falling and all the mothers coming running out to grab us, you know. It was quite fun. Were there times that you and Sheila shared only the two of you together or that you helped each other through? We got evacuated at the same time because the schools used to evacuate all the kids when the war started. What do you mean? Well, they took it because we were brought up in Birmingham and it was a in big industrial area and it was a prime location for the German bombers to come and bomb. So for safety's sake, they sent us out to the country, all given our gas masks and you had to get onto the train and you know, your parents, you're all crying because you're leaving mummy behind. And when you get there, you're taken to another school where people come and get you and they're going to billet you while you're away. And it was very frightening. And the people who took us that first time were not very nice. They were doing it for the money, I think. And they had eight of us in a room with a double bed and a single bed and two little blankets, and it was cold. How old were you at this time? Six. And you remember it so vividly? I'll remember it till the day I die. Can you tell me about Sheila? What have you been missing about her for these last 20 years? I'm the last of my family left alive. Um, she is the only one who is older than me who can remember a lot of the things that I remember and can tell me things that I don't remember, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm really looking forward to seeing her. So what is it that you love about her? Oh, I don't know. It's just that she's Sheila. I love her. Always have. And she's always been there for me when I needed her. Oh, it's exciting. What are you feeling right now as you wait for her? I'm almost short of breath because I'm so excited, you know, my stomach is in knots because I can't wait for it to come through that door. So I imagine in these last 20 years, there's probably been a thought, I might never see her again. <laughs> you know, you have got that. And I think that's one of the reasons she's coming over now. She's here for 13 days and it'll be hard when she goes home. Because there's a part of you that thinks that this well, this will be the last time. This will be the last time. Yeah, it will be the last time we see each other. You know? So you have to be able to love people and let them go. You do that many times through your lifetime. Very hard. When you're old, as they say, you have to be tough to be old. It's the strength you get that you let them go. Because that's the way it has to be. She means a lot to you. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Take off, right on time. We're gonna leave our troubles behind. That's Sheila. Sheila! Oh, God! Oh, Sheila! Oh, Sheila! Oh, right lovely to see you! Hold on! Oh, oh, my God!